In a few of my past videos, I've either talked about or mentioned the topic of export radios, which usually gets me asked by a few of my viewers in the comment section, what is an export radio? And even though I have explained it briefly in a previous video, I'm going to explain it a little better in this video. So let's roll the intro and get things started. According to CB Radio Magazine, an export radio is a radio designed to be used overseas and therefore it can be produced and sold without having to meet FCC regulations. In many cases, a 4 watt CB with a well tuned antenna will work just fine. But for shoot and skip or talking farther away locally, you may need a little more than 4 watts. And that's where export radios come in. You'll find that three of the more popular export radio companies on the market right now are the Stryker, RCI, and Galaxy radios. A normal export radio usually averages anywhere from 25 to 100 watts. But there are radios out there that can do as much as 400 watts. They can all be seen in this video. A CB radio only has 23 to 40 channels, but export radios have what are called the freeband frequencies. Those frequencies are 25.615 to 26.955, which are all below channel 1 on the CB, and then 27.415 to 27.955 which are all above channel 40 and the CB. Anything above 28 MHz is in the 10 meter band, which are all amateur radio frequencies. So you want to stay below 28 MHz unless you are a licensed ham operator. The average export radio usually just has AM and FM modes, but the higher end models like this one have AM, FM, upper and lower sideband, and sometimes CW, which stands for continuous wave, also known as Morse code. And I always recommend to anyone that wants to buy one of these to buy one of the higher end models. I know you must be wondering how these radios first came about. They started in 1982 when a company called the Clear Channel Corporation first developed the Ranger AR3300 and their more popular Ranger AR3500. And it wasn't too long after that that the President Electronics Company released their beloved HR2510. Which stands for ham radio. 25 watts and 10 meters and the rest has all been downhill from there which brings me to one more thing I need to mention export radios are originally a 10 meter ham radio so if you buy one of these radios with the intention of using it as a CB they won't do it right out of the box you'll have to convert these radios to do something like that or have someone like a radio tech do it for you. Most places that sell these radios offer that service as well for a few extra dollars. I do need to tell you one more thing as a heads up. Although these are the popular radios to be using on the CB airwaves, they are also considered an illegal radio to use on the CB band by the FCC. If you do get caught, you can face high fines and or jail time. So honestly, it's up to you if you want to buy one. I know this video is a little shorter than usual, so I'd like to take a minute and remind everyone to please take a second and go visit my store, 
The link is down in the description area. I'm also going to be setting up a PayPal account for donations to the channel. That's to help me keep continue making these videos. And I'd also like to remind everyone to look up Raccoon's Radio Ranch on Facebook. We do have a Facebook group there as well. Thank you. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up and like the video. And be sure to share it with all your friends and family. Click the subscribe to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.